Hello and welcome back to this course. My name is Sijesh and this video we will see how to manage Databricks using Databricks API. There are multiple ways to connect to Databricks. One is obviously using this Databricks portal and we can use uh, the API for managing, uh, I mean modifying the configuration etc. So uh, we can uh, go to Google and uh, type uh, Databricks API and uh, see this API reference gate. And this covers uh, API reference for AWS, GCP and Azure. So we can choose uh, Azure one and it contain a documentation for Databricks workspace as well as uh, account. The workspace is the common uh, related thing. And uh, I'm going to install uh, Postman API here for my validation. So we can download that uh, by using uh, your favorite browser. Just uh, type uh, download Postman. So this is a straightforward process and you can download it. And uh, depending on your operating system, you can choose that the one. Uh, once it's downloaded, go ahead and install this. Okay. And either you can log in with your credential or there is another option uh, to choose a lightweight API client. So that doesn't require a login. And this is the interface where you can uh, do your API request. It can be get, post, put, patch, delete, etc. So we are mainly dealing with uh, uh, get and uh, post method here. So we are in the first we will try one of the post method and using that we will uh, create a cluster and go to the documentation and uh, check that uh, API. Uh, and before that uh, we need to collect this Databricks uh, workspace URL that you can uh, copy from here and uh, paste it in a notepad. Okay, so this is the workspace URL and also append that with uh, this uh, method. Okay, so this is what uh, we need to use in our um, URL section in Postman. Just copy this and paste it inside this Postman. Okay, so that is a URL we need to use. The next is uh, for uh, authorization. So for we need to generate a, a Databricks personal access token. Go to the settings, then uh, developer, where uh, we have option to create access token. So select this manage and then create a token. So add some comment in the description, just uh, training API. Okay, the training API. So this one we can use and the lifetime. So we are just in need for one day for this demo and copy that uh, personal access token. So this one we use for authentication. Okay, so just uh, make a note of this and uh, here go to the authorization part and uh, use bearer token and the token against that token use this value okay and the next is under the body so we need to pass certain value select this row and uh, text form and go back to the documentation and uh, just uh, back to the documentation and uh, uh, we can we can go back to that uh, api documentation and uh, select this JSON file. So this is this one is used for deploying or creating a new Databricks cluster. And that is the name of the cluster. And the remaining parameters are there. So most of them are self-explanatory. Let's just copy this content and paste it inside this uh, body uh, section. And uh, so before that, let's just confirm any cluster is already there. No, we don't have anything. It's a completely brand new setup and uh, no other clusters. And go ahead and send this, okay? So this will try to create, uh, but unfortunately we got some error message, invalid parameter value. The not type is not supported, okay? The one which we have is i3 x large, which is not supported. And the supported type is showing let's just choose one of the supported uh, option and go to the body and change that uh, node type uh, from i3 x large to so whatever the version it support okay then once this is updated then uh, we can again do this 
okay but again uh, we are getting one more error message aws attributes can be specified for clusters running in aws so we will take this away that aws attributes just delete this lines and again okay send it so this time the cluster is deployed and we got the cluster id okay so all these options and now back to the databricks you can see one cluster is deployed and this is using the same uh, configuration that we have defined so this way there are multiple apis options available and you can make use of this documentation and uh, some one of the api tools and interact with this cluster in with this databricks so that's it about this demo thank you for watching this video we will see in the next video bye